yes, yes, of course I've heard of the famous artist Frida Kahlo. Can you hear me? No, I cannot say that I've ever heard of Frida Kahlo. Yes, of course I'll read the book you brought me. Of course. Hey, Kate. Hey, um, Two-Tone here brought me Frida Kahlo. Yes, an animalistic introduction to one of history's greatest figures. Yes, it is wild. So let's get in because, well, I, I need to know about this cat. She sounds like a cool cat. Frida Kahlo was a talented artist born in Mexico City in 1907. She and her family lived in a house called La Casa Azul. You know what that means in Espanol? The blue house. La Casa, the house, azul, blue. Frida and her father, Guillermo, were very close. He taught her all about photography. Say cheese! She would even help him develop photographs. Well, it's a very colorful family. Let's see here. When Frida was young, she got into a clawful accident. Oh, that sounds awful and clawful. She stayed home to heal and had a lot of time on her paws. Oh, having a lot of time on your paws can get so dull. So she spent it painting until her art was what? Perfect. How else would we say that? Perfect. That's right. Oh, it looks like she started with the self-portraits right away. Mmm. Frida's first paintings were portraits. Oh, I'm sorry. I said portraits. I should have said portraits. She needed models, so she painted her sisters and her school friends. Oh, I, I love how... So the real artist, Frida Kahlo, just like Frida Kahlo, is famous for having the one... Uh, one unibrow, the brow, the one, uh, we, I like to call it a power brow, really, more than a unibrow, a power brow. And she's famous for wearing the flowers in her hair, and just like the cat, the cat loaves and the collows have a lot in common. Frida was inspired by her Meowxican heritage. She dressed in traditional clothing and often wore flowers in her fur. While she was in school, Frida met Doggo Rivera. Mm, sounds like Frida Kahlo's husband, Diego Rivera, but this is Doggo Rivera, a famous Meowxican artist. She showed him her art and they developed felines for each other. Doggo Rivera and Frida Kahlo got married in 1928. Doggo and Frida were painters for their entire nine lives. In 1939, Frida was invited to France to show her portraits at a gallery. Ooh la la! Paris's most famous museum, of the Louvre, perhaps you've heard of it, bought one of her paintings. It was the first work by a Mexican artist that they had ever purchased. Oh la la, yes, yes, yes. Uh, the Frida, she was uh, very popular in France. Uh, I do not remember her being a cat, but uh, anything is possible. Yes, you're right, Gilles the Giraffe. Anything is possible. And this is a wild biography. Frida had a fervent love of animals and often included them in her portraits. She had a pet deer. Oh, she had like a Bambi. Two spider monkeys. <coughs> a parrot. <coughs> and an eagle. <coughs> oh, wow. An eagle? That's a pretty majestic pet to have around. One of Frida's famous works features a spider monkey. <coughs> It is called a self-portrait with monkey and hangs in the Meowma in New York City. Really? I'll have to go check that out. I can't believe I was in New York for so long and I never saw it. Frida Kahlo was often called a surrealist painter. However, Frida insisted that she only painted reality. Not surreality, reality, or fur reality. Uh, some of her most famous paintings include the Mew Fridas, a sm few small catnips, and Doggo and I. Well, oh, those are famous paintings. You'll have to look those up. Frida Kahlo is one of the most famous female painters of all time. Although she didn't sell many portraits during her life, many of her paintings are now worth 
millions. Her paintings can be seen in museums from Whiskerton, D.C. to Mexico. Fans of her artwork can visit La Casa Azul and see where she grew up. Her colorful style will not be forgotten. And now you know one of the greatest figures in art history with an animalistic twist. This is the real Frida Kahlo. She's a female artist from Mexico and she's very famous for her self-portraits. She used to wear flower crowns and create self-portraits featuring her prominent eyebrow. Also, she would include details from her life in the background, including her animals. Let's make a Frida cat low. Today, what you'll need, you'll need your fourth quarter related arts packet. This quarter, we're talking about famous artists. So in here, in your fourth quarter, today's artist is Frida Kahlo. Frida is a artist from Mexico and she's famous for her self portraits. She made pictures of herself. So you have a few things you can color in your free time. Here's one of Frida's self portraits and get the cat picture. And we're gonna make a Frida cat low today, just like the story we heard. So you'll need your related arts packet, that cat picture, some construction paper or plain white paper, scissors, glue, and crayons. If you don't have this cat, you could just draw your own cat big on the piece of paper. You could pick any color paper and crayons for your flower. You could pick construction paper or use white paper and then color it in. I'm gonna draw my flower and I'm actually gonna draw red on the orange. You could do same color, you could do black outlines, it's up to you. I'm drawing the center of the flower and then I'm gonna do one petal at the top, one petal at the bottom, one petal on the left, and one petal on the right. And then I'm gonna connect the petals with rainbow lines. And I could continue and I could add some lines in here, make it a little bit more interesting. I could color it in. And then that one's ready to cut. Now that's pretty big. So I'm gonna do another one that's smaller. And this time I'm gonna do it, same thing with the center, but I'm gonna do pointy and pointy petals. And then I'll connect it with a letter V that's upside down on its side. Now I have a pointy flower. And then I could switch my colors and I could keep practicing the same types of flowers or I could do something a little bit different. Here's another way you can make a flower. You could do a rose, maybe this is my yellow rose, a spiral and then close it up. And then what you would do is you would do rainbow lines around it to make a rose. And you're gonna just draw many different flowers. Now that I have my different kinds of flowers, I'm going to cut them out. Remember when you use scissors, two fingers go in the big hole, one thumb goes in the little hole, and your thumbs up. Bring your paper to you, open shut. Now that I have my flowers, I want to have some leaves too. And again, here's an easy way to make a leaf. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a rainbow shape that's stretched out. And then a rainbow shape that's stretched out on the other side, upside down. And then I'm going to add a line for the leaf. 
I'm gonna do that a few times with different sizes so I have many leaves. Now that I have my flowers and my leaves cut out, I'm gonna glue them in a crown, like a rainbow shape across the top of the cat's head. I'm going to glue my leaves down first, leaving space for the flowers. And then I'm going to rub-a-dub-dub -dub and add my flowers. The flowers can overlap with the leaves. And then I save some extra leaves to add some green on top of the flowers. And then once I'm done with my flower crown, I'm going to add that special eyebrow. And I'm going to do that by creating a zigzaggy line with lots of texture. I'll start in the middle and with a black crayon, I'm going zigzaggy to one side and then back in the middle and zigzaggy to the other side. And I added that eyebrow. Now, last thing we have to do is sign it like an artist. Now we're done with my Frida Catlo. Now it's your turn to make a Frida Catlo. I can't wait to see what you make.